Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7. In this tutorial we will be going through the upcoming events module. As you can see here on the front end of this demo site, uh, the upcoming events module can be displayed in any module position and display uh, X number of events uh, can show uh, date, time, category, location, and price. All are items that can be displayed, uh, turned on or off. Uh, category can be set to be a link to show only events of that category. And you can also configure where the title links to. As far as placement on your site, uh, that would work like any other Joomla module. Uh, just uh, So let's go ahead and jump on the back end here. And first let's install it. So I'm going to go to the extensions install. I will browse. And find my package here. Uh, the module comes within the the DT register package that you download. Uh, component module, everything is all in the one package. So I'll click upload file. I get install module success. And uh, as the note here says, uh, this version of the module is intended to be used with version 2.7 or later of the DT register component. And now if I click the modules tab, it will show me my list of, uh, of install modules so I can see mod DT upcoming event uh, with the version 2.9.2, .2, which is the latest as of the date of this recording, um, then the, the date of that of that version creation. So now let's go to extensions module manager and here you can see the upcoming events module by default it is not enabled so you will need to enable it to get it to show up so I'm gonna go ahead and open it uh, here of course I can modify the the title however I want it to display and then I can choose uh, whether or not the title is going to show. I can enable the module. I'm just going to leave it here in the left position. Of course, I can set access level and things like that, just like I can any other Joomla module. And over here on the right, you get the parameters that are specific to this module. Uh, link to the the title of the event can be set to link to the J events details page. Uh, that is, if you are using uh, the J events synchronization. Um, DT registration page, so I'll take you right to the registration form, or the details article, which is the Joomla article that you have associated with your event. Um, then I can set uh, various parameters, such as I can allow past events to show, yes or no, and then you can see if I hover over an item, I do get a, a tool tip that explains the item, so that could be helpful to you. Uh, drop events after start or end dates. Um, this option allows you to to say when the event stops showing in the module uh, after the event has started or after it's over. Um, show the time, show the category, uh, show category as a link. Um, if it is a link then it will be a link to a listing of events of only events in, in that same category. Uh, show location, uh, show the price, and then number of events. If you don't put anything in here, if it's zero, it will just show. Uh, it will show all of the events that can be that can be shown. Um, if you want to show just a specific number of events, you can put that in here, uh, and then specified category. This is a multi-select box, so I can either leave it on all categories, or I could select a particular category or even um, multiple categories and then events from the selected categories will show up uh, show up in my front end module. Uh, to select multiple categories you would use control click uh, on a Mac you would use command click and you can do the same thing to deselect items. So I'll just save and I can see it here in the list it is enabled and now if I refresh the site, now I'll see the, the module uh, 
with the three items like I had selected. And it's only showing the time um, like I have configured it. Or I'm sorry, the, the date, not the time. Um, but so I can go in here and turn on these other items. I'll save it again, refresh the page, and there I go. Now I have uh, full details. Uh, so that's how you use the events module. If you have any other questions or issues with that, you can log a support ticket or hit us in the forum. Thank you very much.